Hi, I'm Dan Turcott. This is my cat, uh, Kara Shishi. Uh, I am the owner and operator of the Phoenix Wing House of Design and Phoenix Wing Productions. Um, we also um, have a music venue called The Nest that we local uh, spotlight local artists and musicians. Um, I'm building this cat in kind of a theme of um, the Asian protection lion. That's where the name uh, Kara Shishi came from. Um, and I'm working on it daily. Um, so. I decided that the, the, the face was kind of a little flat for uh, what I would have rather have liked. And also, um, I wanted to light the eyes um, and open up the mouth a little bit. Um, according to the Japanese folklore, an open mouth is a welcome mouth. So I wanted it to be welcome in, in that. Um, this cat will have some very cool features. Um, I won't let down, as I usually don't. Um, the eyes are cut out. It will have solar lit eyes um, that uh, will light. Um, I'm also working on a solar fountain that will be in the base and also some fiber optic solar lighting that will go around um, a main that I'm building for it. Um, as you can see, it also has an organic feel. I'm working on getting trees, um, three-dimensional trees that will be sculpted in through the legs and also a Vermont moonset and a Vermont sunrise on the other side. So it'll have a Vermont theme as well. Um, nope, this is a, a special material that I get out of Canada. It's made by a company called Abracadabra. Um, it's called Magic Sculpt and it works a lot like clay. It's a, basically a two-part epoxy that you mix together and you form it like clay and sculpt it like clay and then within 24 hours it's hard as a rock. It's not going anywhere. And with these things being out in the public the way they are, they really need to be durable. Um, I'm going to try to hide the solar panels on the head and anywhere that there's a top flat surface. Uh, the trick with solar panels is they only work if they're clean. So you want to be able to get to a clean area right now. As a matter of fact, the one at the Tuscan Sunflower needs to be clean so that the headlight and, and things that are on it will light as well. Um, but there are some really nice flat surfaces on this to be able to work with that. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing other lights that also uplight. So that when it's sitting at, uh, in front of Evans, because that's where it's going to be, um, and Bennington Pizza are the sponsors of this, um, will be lighting up. So it'll cast shadows in a whole other area. That also will be solar. Um, the head will, it's all because of the solar and the low power of the voltage, I don't need a whole lot of space for it. Um, the head will be all self-contained. I'll have a panel cut in the bottom where I can access it. And the rest of it will just be in this area of the under thing. This is all hollow. Um, I do know that it's going to be going over another piece. Um, so I had to compensate for the area that, that I have on the inside. Well, the materials are the trickiest part because there's, I can't just go down to the hardware store and say, hey, listen, I need to have um, 30 feet of uh, LED lighting. Um, luckily, over the last couple of years of building this, and also because of my under, other business, being a sign guy, I have um, access to materials that normal people wouldn't normally have. But, you know, two or three weeks out here, this material comes out of Canada, that's a couple weeks out. Um, but we got everything here, so we'll actually do it. The, the actual construction of this, I'm hoping, is going to take about a week, week and a half. She'll be up and running for Mayfest on the 25th. What I'm going to do actually here, this is going to be um, a hand-painted uh, Vermont moonset over the mountains. Uh, I'm going to do a three-dimensional um, maple leaf collage um, main that is going to have lights all throughout it that also at night will light through, like halo light through it. Um, this will probably, I'm not totally sure about it, will be another tree that works in so that you're looking through a, dia, a shadow box effect into it without it actually being cut into the machine. It'll be built out instead of built in. Well, I was very excited because it was late. <laughs> but um, uh, I'm, I'm excited because, you know, this, these are always fun projects for me because I never really know what I'm going to start with or what I'm going to end up with. Um, I roughly know, but it changes so much in the course of things. Also, because of the materials that are available, I might have an idea in my head, but not be able to get it to actual production because I don't have materials available or can't get them. Um, a lot of the things I invent and build myself, um, just because it's way easier to do that. I've noticed over the last few years of this, these types of proje projects that um, any given night in the summertime, 
the foot traffic that's downtown with people just taking pictures and enjoying the, the um, sculptures is pretty phenomenal. And I know it's good for downtown merchants. You know, now if we can just get them to stay open a little bit longer, you know, but honestly, it's definitely good for downtown. It's definitely good um, for the, the commer Chamber of Commerce to be able to be able to put on projects like this. And we are really getting a landmark for them. I mean, this will be the third year that we've done these, um, these type of projects and um, the actual animals. I mean, we did pallets and the statues, but this is kind of cool because this actually works with local artists. And it really gives the artist as well a, a time to showcase what their talents are as well. Because normally people wouldn't get to know that I can sculpt or paint, you know, because in my field, um, I'm doing primarily commercial art and stuff that's built and geared for advertising. Um, pretty much. I pretty much had taken a look at the one that had come in and looked at the way that it ha ha was laid out and it said very organic to me. So that's why I wanted to work in the trees. And once the trees thing, you know, I got looking at some of the fabulous full moons that we have here and I really wanted to do something with a, with a glowing type of uh, moon, which I might even do in iridescence or reflective paints at this point. Um, I have them. I haven't decided that I was going to use them yet, but I may. Um, there also will be a lot of airbrushing involved with this one as well. And also some digital. I might even put in some digital things. Uh, because of the nature of the companies that are my sponsors, I want to incorporate stuff from Evans News and Bennington Pizza as being, you know, downtown businesses. Also, I'm a downtown business. I'll be looking at it every day out my window. So um, it's really, I really want it to have a theme that is um, compatible with the, with the people that I'm sponsoring for it. And with my other works, you can see that I've done that too, both with the one I did for Apple Barn. Um, it's got, you know, very surreal, and I actually incorporated pictures of the, the uh, orchard in it. And the one that I did for um, the Tuscan Sunflower and Blue Bin and Wasik Tires and Bennington Muffler, it has a piece of every one of their businesses in it. It's got a Bennington Muffler on it. It's got a Wasik Wheel on it. It's got the Sunflowers. You know, it's got the Eat at the Blue Bin stuff on it. it I really like to incorporate um, the businesses that are sponsoring and them giving them, you know, a little bit of advertising space for it as well.